Welcome to Owings Mills. How can I help you? Hey, uh, I was told to meet here today. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I should be going. Okay, may I have your name, please? Yeah, it's Brandon. Brandon Knight. Oh, okay, Brandon Knight. We just put in a claim for you. Okay, well, welcome to the Baltimore Ravens. Let me get you situated. Oh, this is where the Ravens meet? Oh, uh, <laughs> nah, I'm good. Thanks, though. Yeah, this feels like a dream. So YouTube, team keep it clean. What's going on with this situation? And it's something that is a serious question because I have literally no clue. Um, so just to give you a quick recap of everything, the Cowboys, uh, they released Brandon Knight a few days ago in hopes of him clearing waivers and then putting him on the practice squad because he's somebody that they wanted to keep around. But the Ravens saw that and they were like, huh offensive tackle we getting ready to lose ronnie stanley for the year and we know this but we ain't tell the public yet but anyway all right let, let, let's go ahead and put in a claim for him hopefully with our record being what it is hopefully nobody with a worse record puts in a claim for him because that would mean we can't get him so ravens put in a claim for him and ravens were awarded him so nobody else put in a claim for him from all 32 teams at least all teams that have worse records than the ravens nobody put in a claim for him from those uh but so the, he was to go to the Ravens, and, and he wasn't just to go to the Ravens. He was to go to the Ravens' active roster. He was going to their 53-man roster. So if you're chosen to be put on the 53-man roster, especially, especially when you were a waiver claim, that, that speaks highly of you and how the team feels about you because they could have waited till you cleared waivers and whatnot and then let and then giving you an offer and be like hey come join our practice squad they could have done that but they said no 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 no. we're willing to put in a waiver for you we wouldn't be willing to put a claim for you in the waiver wire so you can join our 53 man roster so they did that they got him and then he was a no-show they said he didn't report and it was like uh okay so then John Harbaugh in a presser yesterday, it wasn't what he said, but to me, it was how he said it. Now, when they asked about what's going on with Brandon Knight, why didn't he report what was going on? And John Harbaugh was like, oh, it's, it's personal reasons. It's, it's, it's for personal reasons. That's why he didn't report. And to me, when he said it, I, I kind of got those Ben Mason vibes when he talked about it. And maybe that could be me looking too into it because I, I don't know the situation. And hopefully, hopefully it's nothing that's anything that's serious, first and foremost. Hopefully everything is good with Brandon Knight uh, personally. Um, but it, it just gave me Ben Mason vibes. Because you remember Ravens, they drafted Ben Mason in the fifth round. But then they cut him. They also drafted Sean Wade in the fifth round. Then they traded him. Then they drafted Daylon Hayes in the fifth round. And he stayed safe. But anyway, we ain't getting into the fifth round pick thing. But they drafted Ben Mason in the fifth round. He's a fullback. Uh, and they put the slash tight end on him just to make it look a little bit sexier. But anyway, they drafted a fullback in the fifth round. Ben Mason. And they already had Patrick Ricard. And again, my thoughts were that Ben Mason was going to take over for Patrick Ricard. Because uh, they're getting ready to pay Lamar and they gonna have to try to cut, cut, cut money and cut corners any way that they can. But anyway, that plan is axed now because they cut him in hopes to bring Ben Mason back to the practice squad. But Ben Mason, who have found out, has been a Patriots fan. His family loves the Patriots. They love it up there and whatnot. They've been Patriots fans their entire lives. Patriots also offered him a chance to come on their practice squad. And he turned down the Ravens and went there. And what a lot of people think that it was, was that he may have had a little wink, wink, handshake agreement with John Harbaugh and the Ravens to where it's like, all right, hey, all right, I I'll be back. I I'll come through on the practice squad. I, I, I got y'all boys. All right. But then he turned around and went to the Patriots. So when John Harbaugh had that press, you could tell that he was very upset. He was not feeling that move. And he, yeah, he, he was heated. Uh, but anyway, um, with this, it just seemed like sort of not necessarily the same thing, but it just seemed like Harbaugh was a little upset about whatever the status of Brandon Knight is, which, again, I don't know. So it's one of those things where we just we got to wait it out 
and see what the resolution on this is going to be. Um, because he, he obviously is a player, like I said, that the Ravens, they must value because they put in a claim for him. And you know Raven, you know how Ravens been roster shuffling this season so far. They've been having this guy on a practice squad, this guy on an active roster, this guy gets released, this guy gets cut, this guy gets promoted, this guy gets signed. It, it's been crazy. It's been nonstop. And normally we, we all know that when the 53-man roster is originally established, we know that it's not gonna be official. It's not gonna be the final 53-man roster because they have to always go through changes due to injuries, due to this and due to that. It happens. But the way that the Ravens been moving this season, it's been on a whole nother level. So we'll see what happens with Brandon Knight. Like I said, hopefully it ain't nothing serious with him. Hopefully everything is good with him, his family, and, er and everything, first and foremost. Uh, but it's just a, a very interesting situation that we're going to definitely uh, keep an eye on. Shout out to Graven.